Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co and to another video. Today I am going to be making some vinyl decal wraps for these canned glasses. These are super popular on Etsy, on YouTube, on Amazon and I wanted to try these for myself and TechWrap sent me some more craft vinyl and I really wanted to try out some new colors. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So here are the materials that I'm starting off with. These are the glass cans that I ordered from Amazon. I also ordered some bamboo lids and metal straws to go with these. I'll leave a link for all of these so you know exactly which ones that I'm using today. I'm also going to be using all of my tech wrap tools, which is the weeding pen. This is the glitter weeding pen, which is so pretty and fun to use. And I'm also going to be using the squeegee that came with this pack of utensils. And of course, I'm going to be using the Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. This vinyl I love. I did a video a while back on it. It's beautiful, super easy to use, easy to apply, and it lasts really well. But for today's video, we're going to be using this Rainbow Stripes Permanent Vinyl. This is super gorgeous. And I'm also going to be using this Hollow Cloud. This is a holographic vinyl that has some pastel pinks and yellow and turquoise colors in it. It's super gorgeous. We'll also be using this shimmer black permanent vinyl and then last we're going to be using the rose pink cold color changing vinyl which I used these in the last video and I love all of these cold color changing vinyls. So the first thing I did was actually measure around this glass to see what size of wrap that I would need. This is a 16 ounce glass. So all I did was just wrap a piece of paper around the glass. I started the bottom edge where I wanted the bottom edge of the wrap to begin. And I made some marks where I wanted the top edge to end and also where the pages overlapped. That way I would get the correct circumference or distance all the way around the cup. And my measurements came out to 4.25 inches tall by 9.375 inches all the way around. Okay, so here in Design Space, I already have my design for the first can glass. This is my Cheetah Spots, and I just had it in this pattern to kind of see what it's going to look like with that rainbow vinyl. And I created this myself. The, um, the first thing I did was just create a square that is the size of the can glass wrap. So I just went into the Cricut Images and I typed in Cheetah Leopard Spots, and I found this one. You'll have to scroll down um, pretty far to find it but it's just this cheetah leopard print pattern and I just added that to my canvas. And then I resized it down to fit on the square that I just recreated. And then I wanted to fill up the space, so I just duplicated that. And then I moved it over as far as I could get it. And then I'm just gonna select both of these and weld those together. And now I have this little extra space here, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna unlock my box and just drag that out just a little bit to fill up the rest of that space. And that is really all I did to get this whole pattern for this can glass wrap. And then I just changed the fill pattern just to get a kind of view of what it's gonna look like. So now this is ready to cut out. I'm gonna use that rainbow pattern vinyl from Tech Wrap to cut this out. And now we're just gonna go to make it. I'm using Maker 3, so I'm gonna be using the mat to do this. And just hit continue. And now here it is. I'm just gonna place my vinyl on my mat and cut this out. And now for the second wrap, I have these two designs. This one actually purchased from Etsy. I'll try to leave the link for this down below, but um, it is going to fit perfectly for the size wrap that I need. And then I have this one I actually did in design space. So I have a summer vibes and then I kind of created my own camping vibes. But I think that I'm just going to use this summer vibe. The only thing I'm going to do is change this brown to black because I am going to be using the shimmer black. And then over here on this one, this is also going to be black. So now we're going to go ahead and cut both of these wraps out.
Now I have all of my colors cut out. They are ready to weed. If you want to see a video on exactly which material settings I used with Cricut to cut out this particular vinyl, I'll leave it now up in the cards at the top of your screen. You can go ahead and check that out. But I'm just going to be using that weeding pin. I'm just going to pull up one quarter and this weeds so easily. You just have to pull it away. Just be careful not to get your vinyl stuck to your other pieces of vinyl that you actually want to keep but i'm just pulling it away piece by piece and after we get everything weeded we're going to use our transfer tape and actually go ahead and apply these decals to our glass cans Now I'm going to use a piece of transfer tape and I'm going to remove this decal and place it on the glass. This is Tech Wrap brand transfer tape. It works great with their kind of vinyl. I'm just pulling up a corner and placing it over the edge of my vinyl decal. Then I'm just going to squeegee that down so that it stays flat as I'm placing this transfer tape. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing from my decal. I'm also going to be using some parchment paper and I'm going to place it on the back of this. This is going to help me align the decal to the glass without messing everything up and sticking it in the wrong area. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the parchment paper over the entire decal. I'm going to leave out a little section in the center that's actually going to allow it to stick to the glass, but I'm still going to be able to maneuver it to get it aligned perfectly. Now I'm just going to place the glass over the decal. I'm just trying to line this up to see exact if the edges are going to line up when I roll this around. And then once I have that lined up, I'm just going to secure that center section and then just remove the parchment paper and wrap this around. You can use your squeegee and your fingers to kind of secure it down. I kind of like to roll mine, make sure all your air bubbles are out. And that is how I place these decals. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the second decal. This decal I've already layered. If you want to see a video on how I layer my decals, I'll leave it up in the cards as well. But I've already got this layered. I'm going to remove the backing from this final layer. I'm going to use the parchment paper again and place this last decal. I didn't show cutting out this cold color change vinyl, but I'm just placing it as the bottom layer. It's going to be my sunshine underneath this camper van. And I'm going to show you here in just a minute how this cold color change in vinyl does when you add ice and water. It leaves such a cool effect, especially with this design. It's going to look really good.
I'm so excited about how these turned out. I think they turned out so gorgeous. I cannot wait to do these for fall. Tech Rap Craft is having a huge sale on their vinyl up to 50% off. So I'm going to leave a link to their website down in the description box. You can get in on this sale through July the 10th. So you might want to take advantage of that as soon as you can since this is July 9th when this video is going up. If you're watching this video after July the 10th, then I will leave a coupon code also down in the description. It is Christy10. You will save 10% on all of your tech wrap vinyl. So don't forget to check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe and like. I will see you guys again in my next video.